most of their jobs are sent overseas. Why? So that they can pay less to the workers and there, right. not really reduce the prices that we pay for That's our right. products. That's right. And yet, they, their income grows That's right. exponentially. That's right. One of the things we do need to point out to um, President Obama and his administration is the fact to say that taxes, give corporations a tax break and pay it directly to a corporation, that is not going to generate jobs. Mm -hmm. Why? Because one corporations, especially small to medium companies, they can't even afford. I know we used to be a small corporation. And if you gave us a tax break, then we would not have hired new employees. You don't give enough of a tax break to hire a part-time employee. What they're going to do is reinvest it in their company and keep it. There are a lot of small corporations now, and especially in the medical field, that most doctors, and especially surgeons, are finding that payroll is a thing that when it's time for payday, I have to pay my employees, especially if you're um, in a small, you own your own medical practice. And you say, I pay my employees, but I don't have enough to pay myself. I know people who work in the tax field, I'll see working in the writing service, and you're having professional physicians okay. who can't even afford to pay their own self. Okay, B, hold on to that one. Let this gentleman speak in this one, and then we'll talk offline. Okay, let him finish getting this stuff, information for the headquarters, and then we'll all continue this discussion. Go ahead, sir. <clears throat> yes, I agree with this uh, member here of, about the global thing. This was supposed to make us better because we were supposed to give away our medium jobs that were very difficult to do and dirty. And they were supposed to teach us to do the technology type of jobs. But things happened along the way. The people that were supposed to be running the program decided, hey, we can make this money for our corporation to look at all the campaign contributions we can get back. We can stay in control of the government. So what really happened was, the people who lost their jobs didn't get the education that was necessary. And not only that, but the people that they fathered, those people are giving us problems. They are in the, in the uh, jails, in the prisons. We are paying more to keep someone in prison than if we had taught them at kindergarten school, right. what it is to be a citizen of the community. How we can be responsible and help our communities grow. It's deteriorated badly under the people who figure that corporate power is the way to go. And that's wrong. Okay, let this gentleman stop right here. You know, I'm in the black. Um, I'm probably not going to make any friends here. That's okay. Well, uh, we'll be translating. to be said. NAFTA came about under the Clinton administration. Yes. <laughs> Ross Perot was laughed off national television against Al Gore. I voted for Ross Perot in 96. I was definitely out of my door. The problems that we have in this country were not started when Bush took over, although he was, well, he was kind of elected the first time. <laughs> he was almost certainly re-elected. <laughs> and he's done tremendous damage. But he was elected. And still, almost half the people in the country think that they were right. Think that they were right. I agree with most everything that's been said here. But the political reality is that we have, that we're not going to get our way. We have to make a deal, especially this stimulus. 
Obama says that the Democrats can pass the House without any Republican support. We're going to have to compromise in, in the Senate. Well, the net result of all this is going to be that we're going to have to change some of our ideas. We're going to have to make some compromises. We're going to have to get what we can get. because they're rewarded for the money that they make. I mean, that's a society. We all own parts of corporations. Most people that are not having a company to launder stock or anything else all own part of corporations. They're really more concerned with the fact that they make money. Uh, and so the people that run the corporations, the chief executive officers, they don't work for the company. They work for the board of directors. And the board of directors says, you will make money. And I can't blame those people for making the decisions that that they needed to make in order to make more money for their com for their company. But that said, I think that we need to do more about using the ingenuity and the resources we have available in this country to make this country and its products and its the, the output of each worker to be in demand worldwide. We need to we, we need to apply our reasoning to be able to say okay we're going to make the best widget in the world and everybody's going to want it. And if we can, if we can inspire Americans to, to apply ourselves that way, ultimately that's going to end up giving us all jobs. If, every, if we'll become the, you know, the old China, if you will, because our products will be better than we wanted all Because the in world. actuality, China actually did only really have a product when they really first started up, just I mean, like our president. Uh, the only reason he stayed in office was for the second term is because we, as a group, have never taken a president out of office when we're in war. We've never done that throughout the history. So therefore, that's why he stayed in office, because he created a war. He made sure he's going to stay there. You know, he made sure he kept his bank. <laughs> Go ahead, Frank. Hey, two points. <clears throat> In 1896, the founder of IBM invented the first computer. A lot of people don't know that. It went back in 1896. And yesterday, I was shocked to hear on, on National Public Radio that IBM is advising the people they're laying off to move from the United States and relocate in India and Indonesia if you want and a job. other countries. Right. That, Pay much less because uh, if they go to India, they make if they relative same job one quarter of the salary wages they earn here. So we've got one of the biggest notice corporations in the United States advising their, our citizens, their workers that are being laid off, to move out of the United States and and to you know, go along and get out of here. Probably giving them a good reference. And, you know, and, I, and I think there needs to be some carrot and stick approach by the Obama administration with the help of Congress, of course, uh, that punishes those kind of actions by American corporations. Secondly, and it was alluded to earlier, but I'm a, I'm here from the government.